Hey guys, welcome to another very exciting illustrated tips and tricks video. In this video, we will be learning how to use Shape Builder tool. Most of you might be using only Pathfinder tool to uh, unite or subtract any object. The, there is one more very useful tool which is called Shape Builder tool. You can save 100 of mouse clicks by simply clicking and dragging between elements and you can have the same actions. So here we goes. So I'll explain you with an example. So I'll draw an ellipse tool, take an ellipse and make a ellipse tool. Okay, make a circle, change its color to black. Now duplicate this for just duplicate this for a few more times. Okay, once you've done that, select this portion and now make one more ellipse over it. Okay. So simply what I'm doing is I'll want to subtract this portion from here. But if you are using a Pathfinder tool, you can easily select both uh, this one and this one. You can subtract it from here. But there is one more way using the Shape Builder tool. So I'll just select both. Here is your main important tool that's the Shape Builder tool. Click it and just click over here. And that means your this portion, this shape is now separated from the main body. So this is very simple. You don't need to have some uh, technical stuff. Just go and click it and you can separate it. In the same way, we will uh, do a few more things which will make your idea, which will make you understand in a much better way. So I'll duplicate this one more time. Okay, once you've done that, I'll just reduce its uh, radius and I'll take one ellipse over it. Before that, just change its color. I want, I'm going to make some design so I need some different color so that I can see it. So we don't have boundary and it's uh, let's have um, uh, put some boundaries so that we can e uh, easily see what are we doing with our designs. So here is our boundary. So let's make an ellipse over it. So I'll just a little bit first thinner. The reason why I'm making this, I just want you to explain you in a uh, very more detailed way. You can easily get it. So this one, now a little bit this. Okay, this one one more a gap okay once you've done that this one and last circle and maybe you can put one more that's all so once you've done that we'll select all of them and here is your shape builder tool what i need is i need to subtract this portion this one this one and maybe you can even this one or or this one so whichever you're clicking it is getting uh, separated from each divisions so once you've done that just go to selection tool click it outside and just subtract the portion which you don't want I don't want this I don't want this so here it goes so we'll just uh, do some color corrections before that I just remove this outlines now let's take this portion or maybe this and change its color to light green light green okay and this one dark green maybe a little much of brighter so select this 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 and change its color to dark greens once you've done that we'll take a little much more detail just take a circle put it here select this both I want this portion to be subtracted from here so I'll just select both the shape go to shape builder tool just click and drag and this portion is subtracted from here permanently so delete it just uh, select this both you can combine even using the shape builder tool so it's click and drag and this portion will be combined so this is one object this is one this is one and once you've done that just click it put it over it and maybe keep it in the center once you've done that but we need this portion to be subject there is um, I need a hole here so I'll sub select all of them go to shape builder tool and just click this portion so once you've done that this portion is subtracted in the same way just uh, I'll make a few more designs over this circle just go and click change its color to gray Bo give some dark bound borders thin one first then thicker gap 
Then. And then. To that. And a bigger one. Quite bigger one. Okay. Once you've done that, select all of them. Go to Shape Builder. Delete this. Delete this. And do this. Subtract this. Means you are. Whenever you're clicking any shape, that's going to be separated. So select this. Delete this. Change the colors to the color you want to have. So change its color to maybe light. This one and this one maybe dark so here we go and here we I'm going to make one more you can take a rectangle go make it rectangle now uh, select both of them go to shape builder subtract it subtract it subtract it and now delete it this one delete it and delete it now now we will take one ellipse tool, make an L circle inside it, select both, go to uh, shape builder and this click this, subtract it, so almost, we have done this, now we need to make a G, so I'll take a rectangle, rectangle, select the corner make it bigger then go to here just click it just uh, make it smaller now select both go to shape builder subtract it by clicking and dragging now you can subtract it now I'll take one more rectangle just making some few details now what we need to do is I'll just uh, align this with it Select both of them, go to shape builder, delete this, subtract this, and that's all. So after that, just delete this portion, select this portion, give it a color, maybe this one, dark green, reduces, uh, give some opacity, so go to transparency and 70%. So you got it. So this is how you can use a shape builder tool. It's my, very easy. It's very to you, very easy to use, and I think it's much much better than the Pathfinder. It's make uh, it's going to take uh, take almost uh, very little time uh, as compared to Pathfinder. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and thank you very much.